Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. To go for a long walk with another reaction video. If you're new to this channel, make sure to give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and of course, do not forget to subscribe. Like I said, my name is Fanny Lungu, and on this channel, we post reaction videos each and every day. So, if there's something that you guys want us to react to, let us know by dropping the link in the comment section below, and we'll be more than glad to do it. A big shout out to the person that suggested this, and a big shout out to the people. And, and a big shout out to the people that keep on subscribing to our channel and those that have already subscribed you guys are the best and we're very very appreciative so thank you very much i hope you guys are doing all right and may you stay blessed so today i'm going to be reacting to report shows white grooming gangs war crimes condemn this i'm not even sure what the title is trying to say right now but without wasting time let's get into the video Asalaamu As Alaikum guys and welcome to this banger of an episode Don't forget to keep your hashtags condemn this on the ready I'm gonna explain why The issue of grooming gangs is a very serious issue and it's been plaguing this country for quite some time in different aspects But for the last decade the far right has hijacked this issue and turned it into a Muslim problem. This is the truth. We want justice for the victims of Muslim grooming gangs in our own country. But many Muslims would have come into this mosque and prayed. They'd have walked straight out of the mosque and then they'd have gone and took turns with their sexual slave. <laughs> and as always, some Uncle Toms feel the need to join in just so they can fit in with the crowd. And of course, for legal reasons, I have distorted their faces. Hmm. That's actually quite an improvement to how they normally look. So the UK based independent newspaper sought to get a report from the Home Office which initially said that it's against the public interest. I don't know why and frankly when I explain some of the stuff that was in the report maybe you'll be able to determine why. So a petition took place and eventually they caved and they have published the report. Here are some key findings of the report. Number one, no one community is responsible for this problem. Number two, there has been an overrepresentation of Asian and black offenders. That these atrocities were carried out by Pakistani Muslims. And number three, previous data isn't exactly accurate because of the mass bias it has and that majority of the offenders Pay attention. were white. By Pakistani Muslims. From Muslim grooming gangs in our own country. Now this has come as a massive blow to people like Tommy Robinson. There's been grooming, grooming gangs, Muslim grooming gangs targeting young English girls in these communities. Let's see what Tommy Robinson is up to nowadays. Well that's great, he's getting banned from football matches for punching people in the face. This is your representative. Jada Franson says Golding would punch and kick her and throw things at her. That's where the fear came in because I thought I'm going to end up dead. This is the truth. Paul would lock you in the house until they came back. Is that true? Yeah. This is the truth. But because of cognitive dissonance, they're going to come up with some sort of excuse. But the genuine that are there, they will be like, you know what? Enough is enough. We're not going to be partisan to this hate filled mentality. Now here's the main point yeah. Now Muslims have been asked for a number of decades now to condemn things left right and centre mate. But seeing as in the last couple of weeks we've had two main revelations. Number one, majority of the grooming gangs tend to be white offenders. And number two, the exposition of war crimes by western nations such as Australia and the United Kingdom. To the people of Afghanistan on behalf of the Australian Defence Force, I sincerely and unreservedly apologise. War crimes that have taken place in Iraq, yeah, which has seen up to a million deaths and casualties and disabilities, frankly. Now it's time that we get this condemnations from you people. The far right, the conservatives, whatever label you want to give it, even if you're on the right. You got a problem with Islam, now 
We want you to condemn grooming gangs. We want you to condemn the war crimes that have taken place. Enough is enough. Yeah, no more scapegoat in Islam so you can meet your own political and economical objectives. So I've got a pinned tweet on my Twitter page. I want you guys to go there and retweet that. And I want you to spread this because it's important guys. We should not ignore news coverage and footage like this because it's these issues that are being used to taint Islam. All right guys, let's leave it there. Until next time, Assalamu Alaikum. He always has, um, I mean I like his opinion on stuff. It doesn't make sense that you want to taint people's images the way Western worlds do it and they're fine with that as long as they look good it's fine. Not once do they ever say anything bad about themselves. It's always the Middle East that, Africa this. It's like they're the only it's like that the angels and the rest, uh, I don't even know how I can put it. It doesn't make sense. How many things have they done they don't um, pay for it? We had, I, always give, I think I always give this example. We had Mugabe, yes, some people don't like him, whatever he, what I'm trying to say is those that, but they thought the way he was really in his country wasn't right and they wanted him up. What about the president? What about the presidents that have actually waged war on other countries and haven't even answered for those crimes? And you still want African presidents to step down? What about you check your ex-president, former president, current president? Doesn't make sense. The other day, uh, something went. The other day, something went down in America, and people really want Trump to be out. While well, people want to again impeach Trump. Others are saying he should go straight to um, jail. I mean, look at the way things are being handled. If that was in Africa, they would have condemned the president, they would have made sure that president would have stepped down. If it was anywhere else in the world other than their countries, they would have wanted that person out and made things actually hard for them. First, start condemning things that they've done in the past before they condemn other people. Just because they sin differently doesn't mean that their sins are not seen otherwise that's that if you're comfortable with what these people do then the world really has a lot on its hand to deal with make sure to give this video a thumbs up share it with your friends and of course do not forget to subscribe and i'll see you in my next reaction video